Hello and welcome. This is Lindy again. Today we're going to look at Avalanche Network and how to add it to our MetaMask. Now I've searched for the settings on Avalanche and to add it to MetaMask, normally you can add it here if you know all the settings, but it is better to use the expanded view, which we will do there. And this puts it in a tab here so you can get in there. And you can see now we are on the Ethereum mainnet. Now to add another custom network, we simply have to go to Settings, Networks. This is the current setup. We will add network here. We will call this Avalanche. And I will need to add all this information that is here. Simply copy and paste. These are the important things to make it see it. And it's just copying and pasting because you do not want to make errors in how these things are added. And there we go. Now we have the Avalanche Network as an option. So we can simply go here and jump between the different networks. Obviously to deal with this, we have to send Avalanche tokens here. Let's see what we can do. And we're back again. So to do this, you have to set up your Avalanche wallet, which is this URL and you're gonna have to do your seed praise and everything. I'm not going to go through that because I don't want to ruin this. And we're going to physically go through withdrawing to this wallet. I will copy here. Now, I bear in mind, this is the first time I'm sending there. And I will send one Avalanche token. I just went and bought one now. So I'll copy that address. I will choose the Avalanche network. Make sure I'm not dealing with Binance Smart Chain. In this case, I want to send to an actual Avalanche wallet. And I will throw the max there. Obviously, I have to play my little Tetris game again. I'm just going to find my authenticator. I like to do these things in real time so you can see what the process is. I know it's pretty boring, so if you want to, you can just fast forward. So I'm just going to do this. I get a minute to do this. I will do. I just need to get to the code for the email and then back to authenticator so six five five submit so now it's a matter of waiting And we will go back to that wallet and simply wait. But essentially to, to be able to interact with, let's say Beefy Finance, which right now, let me close this one. If I connect it again, and Beefy Finance is one of the sort of newer places that you can connect and use AVAX or Avalanche Network. And the reason why we're doing this is because the fees on Ethereum is pretty ridiculous. So Avalanche provides an opportunity and this thing's taking forever. So let, let me just do BV finance and we will load it. Maybe if I type in the proper URL. Uh, 
there we go we just launch the app from there we are on avalanche network or we'll added wallet i do not want that wallet i'm going to change the network choose avalanche I always get nervous when I say see injected so we're just going to connect this wallet with that metamask so now we, we can see we are basically in the avalanche network but it's connected to the metamask we sort of have to wait for this withdrawal to go through and you know in Binance you can actually just see that Because generally it's about them their meeting send first, so you can see process. There, there is no TX ID yet. Once once that goes, we'll see how fast they really are. Or well, at least Avalanche Network is. And there we see a TX ID. So now we can go look on the Apex Network and see how quickly this actually does go. That took about two minutes. And let's look in the actual wallet. There we go. We have a balance. Yeah, I'm guessing that it needs to sort of update first. We have a balance there now. 1.1. Now, to get to MetaMask, we need to do a cross chain because this is a basically an ethereum address with metamask looking at the avalanche network so we're going to hit cross chain we need c chain we will do let's say 0 0.1 and let's just see Max Then we will wait to see if that arrives here. there we go it has arrived so if we're going to want to interact with a place like let's say beefy beefy finance we are going to use the main avalanche network or wallet we'll send avalanche to it we need to do a cross chain conversion basically go from x chain to c chain do that amount Basically, I have node node point nine nine nine. I need to start again. So in this case, X chain C chain max amount confirm transfer. Once that is done, 
I will need to send it out. I need to make sure that it's not on the X chain, on the C chain. Max amount, I'll add my address again, which I still have in my clipboard from here. I can just copy it again. Apple F, Apple V, make sure that these are the same. I'm sending the max amount, confirm, send transaction. And boom, there we go. Now we can go to Beefy Finance on the Avalanche network. We have connected that wallet. And to do this, we would obviously have to create some pairs, which we will have to use another process for. Again, we're back again. So to post liquidity on Beefy Finance, we're going to have to create these pairs and we have to use these exchanges to create these pairs. So I found a little gem here called Snub AVAX and we'll use Pangolin. Pangolin is very similar to Uniswap, if not the actual fork of it. And what we're going to have to do is buy Snub. So let's look for snub. And as usual, we do not find snub. So what we're going to do is search AVAX tokens for snub. View the Explorer. And we will just look for snub here. Honestly, it looks a bit mean. So what we're going to try to do rather is look, look for something that is a bit more accessible. So we're going to use so let's just check if we can find snub on a different place or at least a contract address snowball so it's that one look the easiest way is to get it on coin gecko because really what we need is the transaction address. The contract address, I mean. Snowboom. Simply go to the Explorer. And that will be its contract address. So we can just copy that. And we'll just add it here should pick up stop there we go so once again we will do not exactly off because i want to keep an amount of fees so whenever we provide liquidity we want to do at least slightly less than half because we will have to match it with the amount of avalanche token we're just double checking that we need to Mix it up there. Okay, we'll do that. We'll swap. We'll wait for that to confirm. There we go. And now we will have to create our liquidity pay. So we're going to see at snob first. Snub. I'm probably going to have to post that. Add it there again. Do AVAX there. We'll do max. We'll have to approve that. 
notice that transaction fee is 62 cents it is a lot better than 30 or 40 dollars per transaction once that confirms we'll be able to sus supply that to the network or at least as liquidity to pangolin exchange and that is approved so we just wait until supply button goes green well available at least we supply that Here we go. So now when we go back to BV Finance, we should be able to see our little liquidity pairs. So what we just have to do is approve. Once that's approved, we'll, we'll be able to add it. But basically, make sure that we connect it to the wallet there. MetaMask in Avalanche. Once that approves, we'll be able to add everything. There we go. So we simply click deposit all. And I will pay to add it again. If we're successful, we'll just see the side receive it. There we go and you'll be able to see once you add quite a few things it will add a re deposit amount so there we have 33 dollars added in to be financed on our avalanche it doesn't always update immediately so you can just uh, be on the wrong page there and we can see there so Look, I, I don't think that we're going to have 13,000% APY forever. Generally, it lasts a few hours. It comes down almost instantly as people add more. But that is it. So the process being to get Avalanche onto MetaMask, which we've seen earlier. Create an Avalanche wallet. Do the cross-chain conversion from X chain to C chain, send that to MetaMask, and then go have a squiz at um, PV Finance to see APYs that count. Make sure that you're using the right exchanges to create these liquidity pairs. So let's let's look for Complus. Uh, I've never used Complus myself, but. And there we go, we can sort of pick up on the Avalanche network. You can either use Wabi or Binance Smart Chain. We can make this the wallet. MetaMask. And boom, we can sort of create different things.